CNR Clothiers was a large chain of men's suit stores that opened in 1948 and closed in 1996. Thank you for your suggestion. In 1948, CNR Clothiers opened its doors in Culver City, California. The men's store was founded by Bob Correnti, who was the original C of CNR Clothiers. CNR was open Thursday through Sunday, and he focused the store specifically to offer business attire to the average working class man. Suits prices usually ranged from $114 to $264. Correnti would primarily focus on the Southern California area, where CNR would become a fixture in the area. He would gain prominence in the discount suit arena, where he would compete against the likes of Bullock's, The Broadway, J.W. Robinson's, and other department store chains that offered more expensive suits at higher retail prices. The Mint's Warehouse, founded in 1972 by George Zimmer, would eventually become his biggest competitor in the discount suit market. In the mid-1980s, the Men's Warehouse moved into California. Following its successful Texas formula, the company would open a store, advertise heavily with Zimmer doing his own television ads, and then open several more stores in the area. In 1989, Nordstrom's department store sued the men's warehouse for false advertising, disputing the company's claim that men's warehouse suits were identical to those sold by Nordstrom. In 1990, CNR Clothiers also sued, complaining about false claims regarding pricing. Both suits were settled when the men's warehouse agreed to stop running the ads. Meanwhile, CNR Clothiers went on to advertise their suits with a marketing campaign with its memorable What a Difference a Day Makes ad campaign. CNR made the ill fated decision in the late 1980s to move away from the discount suit market to make its move towards the more upscale clothing. This decision caused the company to go into bankruptcy in the early 1990s, causing inventory levels to drop and customers to be drawn to other more affordable alternatives like Men's Warehouse. By 1990, they had 67 stores across California, and other contributors to its bankruptcy was overexpansion. The company made its move back into the discount suit market. But by the early 1990s, the men's tailored clothing business had been unraveling for years, particularly in Los Angeles. The flagging economy and Southern California's dressed down attitude also made it a graveyard for many sellers of men's suits. The Culver based CNR Clothiers slid into bankruptcy in 1992, largely because it began to offer customers more expensive and more cutting edge fashion. By that time, the company had 34 stores in Southern California. The men's warehouse, by contrast, was taking over the market with its aggressive expansion and low prices. In November of 1996, CNR had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy court protection and agreed to sell up to 19 of its low-priced menswear stores for $13.5 million to men's warehouse. Under the Chapter 11 petition filed by CNR, they listed assets of $13.6 million and liabilities of $17.6 million. It had, at that point, 300 employees. CNR clothiers had struggled in the region's prolonged economic downturn and fierce retail competition. A previous stint in bankruptcy court in 1992 was blamed at the time of an ill-fated expansion into Northern California. 
and an attempt to sell more expensive cutting-edge fashions, which flopped with consumers. The company ceased to exist by the end of the year. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.